everyone. If you are a WordPress website owner, then the first thing that you need to ensure is that the website has a good speed. Now, a fast loading website plays a very crucial role in retaining the visitors on your site, ensuring a better performance. Thus, in this video, I'll show you how you can speed up your WordPress website in just 5 steps. I'm Aparna Singhal from LearnVoo and let's get started. Now we will first check the current speed or loading time of our website. For that, go to this website. The link to this website is mentioned in the description. Now here in this box, give your website URL. Now select the region from where you want to run the test. I would suggest you to keep it nearest to the region from where you have the maximum visitors. I'll keep it North America, USA. Now once done, click on start test. And within seconds, you will get the speed report of your website. Here you can see the load time, page size, etc. Now as we move to the next steps, this load time and page size will keep reducing, making our website load faster. Now we will be checking that at the end of each step. So keep this tab open. Now let's start with the first step that is optimizing and resizing the images on our site. Now when we resize or optimize the images, its size reduces and the loading time of the images of your website takes less time, ultimately resulting in a faster loading of your website. Let's first check what is the current size of the images on our website. For that, go to your website, right click on any image and click on inspect. Now here you'll get the elements of the image selected. And in these elements, you'll see there is an URL. Hover over to that and here you will get the size of the selected image. Now we need to reduce the size by optimizing the image. Now there are multiple ways to optimize an image. However, in this video, I'll show you how you can optimize the images by using a WordPress plugin named WP Optimize. But in case you want a more detailed video on different ways to optimize the images, you can check one of our video how to optimize images for your WordPress site. The link to the video is mentioned in the description. Now to optimize images using WP Optimize, let's first install the plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. Now on the search bar, search WP Optimize. Once the plugin appears, click on install. And once installed, click on activate. Once the plugin is activated, it will be added here on the dashboard. So to optimize images, click on WP Optimize. Now click on images here on top. Next select the option prioritize maximum compression. Now click select all. Once done, click on compress the selected images. Now the sizes of the images has been reduced successfully. Now to check that, go to your website, right click on the image, now click on inspect and if you hover over to the image link here, you will see that the image size has reduced. Now to ensure that any image added in the future is also optimized, simply go to WordPress dashboard, WP Optimize, Images. And here toggle the button in front of automatically compress newly added images. And now all the images of your website are successfully optimized and also the images that will be added in the future will also be optimized. Now let's go to the speed testing site and click on start test again. And here you can see that the load time has reduced and also the page size has reduced. Next, in step 2, let's enable page cache on your website so that when a visitor visits your website, the page loads faster because a copy of your website is stored in WordPress which normally is sent from the hosting service making it time consuming. Now to do that, we will be using WP Optimize plugin itself. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, WP Optimize. Now from here on the top, click on cache. Toggle the button here to enable page caching. Once done, click save changes. Now let's go to the speed testing site and click on start test again.
and here you can see that the load time has reduced. Now the next step is to optimize the CSS and JavaScript of your website. This also plays a very major role in changing the speed of your website. Now to do that, we will be using a WordPress plugin named Speed Optimize by SiteGround. So let's quickly first install this plugin. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, plugins, add new. Now on the search bar, search Speed Optimizer SiteGround. Once the plugin appears, click install. And once installed, click activate. Now once the plugin is activated, go to WordPress dashboard, speed optimizer. Now click on front end. Now here first, let's optimize the CSS. So toggle the button in front of minify CSS files. Next toggle the button in front of combine CSS files. And lastly, also toggle the button for preload combined CSS. Now, once done, go to the front end and check if everything is working fine because this is a very crucial step and it may not work in favor of your website. Next, let's optimize the JavaScript. So click on Java from here. Now toggle all the three buttons here as well. Once done, go to front end and check if the website is working fine. And if all looks fine, the CSS and the JavaScript is also successfully optimized. So let's go to the speed testing site and click on start test again. And here you can see that the load time has reduced. Next in the fourth step, we need to ensure that we choose a lightweight theme and remove the unused plugins. Let's first choose a lightweight theme. For that, go to WordPress dashboard, appearance themes. Now click on add new. Now here you'll get all the themes. Choose a lightweight theme to ensure your website is loading faster. Now few lightweight themes are generate press, Astra, Ocean WP, storefront. Once you choose a theme, simply click on install and once installed, click activate. Next to remove all the unused plugins, simply go to WordPress dashboard, plugins. Now go to active plugins from the option here. Hover over to each plugin that is unused and click on deactivate. Similarly deactivate all the unused plugins. Now go to the deactivate plugins zone from here and delete the unused plugins from the delete option here. Now in this final step, we will be using CDN. Now we know that if the hosting server of your website is far from the region of your visitor, the loading automatically takes more time. So the loading speed in every region keeps changing according to the distance from the hosting server. So if we connect our website to CDN, that is Content Delivery Network, which is present in different places of the globe, the website takes the data from the nearest CDN, making it load faster. While certain hosting providers integrate CDNs into their plans, there are third-party options such as Cloudflare, Cloudway CDN and Key CDN. Now let me quickly show you how to connect to Cloudflare to your website. For that, go to Cloudflare CDN website. The link to this website is given in the description. Click on get started for free. Next, enter the email ID and password and then click on sign up. Now click on add site from here on top. Next, enter your domain here and click on continue. Now you will get four plans here. Select the free one and click on continue. Now scroll down and click on continue again. Now here you will get your Cloudflare's name servers. Copy these and then add these server names in your hosting server website. And that's all. This is how you can speed up your WordPress website in just 5 steps. 
do let us know in the comment section if you found this video useful and if you like this video give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos thank you so much for watching i'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video